Hello and welcome to the automated membership machine. In this video series, I'm going to talk about how to create a fixed term membership site. So let's go ahead and dive right in. This is video number one, the introduction and the tools that you're going to need. Now, before we get started and begin the implementation process of your fixed term membership site, I want you to get into the right mindset. I don't want you to be concerned about the fancy membership site scripts. I know a lot of times when you create a membership site, you're thinking, okay, what kind of membership script out there would be good for me? Or, and then you start looking into the membership scripts and you see how all these features are and this and that. And then when you begin to implement that script, you realize how complicated it really is. So what I want you to do is just think, this is the simplest form of a membership site that you can create a fixed term membership site integrated with aweber get response or any other autoresponder service in fact you're going to be amazed how easy this is once we jump in and you might even think to yourself wow is this really it so what I want to do instead of talk about it is just jump straight into it, talk about the tools you need, prepare you for everything so that we can begin to implement the fixed term membership site. Now what I want to do is give you a quick overview. This is video number one and video number two, I'm going to help you plan, brainstorm and prepare for video number three, which is where we you gather all your content. We organize that content so that it is ready to be uploaded video number four i'm going to talk about how to create a higher stick rate and customer value now a lot of people don't think about this when they create a membership site they just create it and assume that people are going to stick around now the average dropout rate is usually three months and so forth but there are tricks that you can use to actually get your customers to stay and I'm going to talk about that in video number four. Video number five, we're going to create a thank you page or a downloaded page, the same thing. So basically after the person pays, they see the thank you page, they fill out the Aweber form, and then they're forwarded to get your content and so forth. So we're basically creating an automated membership machine. Video number six, we're going to talk about how to create a PayPal subscription button and put that onto your sales page so that when somebody buys they are sent to your thank you page and video number seven we're going to talk about how to upload the pages and the get the URL so for example what we're going to do is we're going to upload the main thank you page as well as all of the other content and so forth like week one week two or month one month two and so forth video number eight we're going to talk about how to deliver your content using your aweber or get response or autoresponder system and then video number nine we're going to talk about testing it it's vital to test out your system before you make it live so we want to make sure that we test it i'm going to show you how to do that and of course last but not least video number 10 I'm going to show you how to minimize your support. In other words, once you have that fixed term membership site, what can you do to minimize your support? Because you don't want to be overwhelmed by the same exact questions over and over again. Now what I want to do now is talk about the tools you need so that you can gather those tools before we begin the implementation process. You're going to need a website. You're going to need a domain and web hosting. Now in this video series, I'm going to assume that you already have a website and you already have your content. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to implement this and create an automated machine and add it to your website. You're going to need to have a FTP program, which stands for file transfer protocol. All that means is a fancy term for uploading your files to your web hosting account. So FileZilla, it's a free software. You don't have to pay anything. Composer, I love it. I use it. 
and it's a free tool as well. It's a tool that allows you to edit the thank you pages, the sales pages, and so forth. And you're also going to need an autoresponder, whether that's Aweber, whether that's GetResponse, and so forth. Now, if you're just getting started, what I recommend you do is just start out with the basics. Start out with the the cheapest plan, and once you grow, then you know add upon that plan. So that's that. Let's move on to video number two, and let me help you go ahead and plan, brainstorm, and begin to gather your content.